Making facility in Cohoes. It was a big employer in the city, but since the fire, the company downsized by two thirds. Well, today, production resumed and it's putting some employees back to work. Chris Gloninger has the latest from Cohoes. Steam is what we're using as our form of heat. Pour it into that cylinder, you pump steam into it, and as it, rises, as it gets larger, it rises to the top and comes out. For shelter enterprises, these tiny foam beads are the signs of rebuilding. The Cohoes company produces styrofoam products. Well, more commonly known as uh, the white styrofoam, white polystyrene coffee cup that you, uh, pretty much everyone drinks out of every day. It's the same material, but we use it for building products rather than consumer products. The company employed 40 people until this fire tore through one of the primary wings in the facility. Before the fire, this large empty space was filled with large blocks of styrofoam insulation. Now there are only a few blocks left. Now that production has started, though, this room will start to fill up once again. Everyone that wants to come back to work will be back eventually, yeah. It might take one year before they're fully operational. However, Myers was able to keep 16 employees on the payroll ever since the fire, helping to rebuild and continue the work that needed to be done. With the, with the putting things back together, cleaning things up, and we, we've also actually been producing product and shipping throughout this time. That's because some of the completed products and raw materials were stored in a location not affected by the fire. Tomorrow's another big step when these beads are turned into three foot by four foot by 16 foot blocks of insulation. From there, the foam will be cut and shipped to clients. Reporting at Cahos, Chris Gloninger, CBS 6 News.